You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and worship. Hallelujah. 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 We are. If Thank we you. are saying amen and clapping for Jesus, yes, amen. shall we do it a lot better? Let's exalt the King of Glory. Spontaneous praise. Spontaneous worship. Unreserved worship. Unreserved praise. Unreserved exaltation to the King of Glory. For he is worthy. We worship you with a clap of the Lord Jesus. No man deserves it. No man deserves it. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone shall say amen. Hallelujah. So we say a very big welcome to everyone, especially um, those who have been following with us this in these messages that has been coming on to us, Amen. we thank the Lord and give him all the glory. Hallelujah. I personally, Amen. for one, I have been blessed. I have been enriched by these messages. Amen. And my eyes have been opened. Amen. My hearts have been enlarged. Amen. My faith has expanded. Amen. And my confidence Amen. in our God has Amen. shot through to the heavenlies <laughs> higher and higher. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so this is exactly the blessings of God that we honor him. We want to say a very good welcome to those of you who are joining us on the Facebook. Remember what we always say, we are beholding the face of God through the book, and that is the word of God, the Holy Bible. Hallelujah. So it's not just the Facebook, but we that we are seeing people, but we acknowledge our global family. Hallelujah. I talk about Amen. global family. That means there are people who are not here physically with us across the nations in the various churches and ministries that are connected with us. And we thank God for you, those who are Facebook friends. I don't just see you as Facebook friends, I see you as a global family. And the Lord God Almighty, who we serve in truth, and the Spirit will bless you richly. Peradventure, you have not known Jesus Christ. The essence of what we are doing, there is no other basis than the fact that we want people to encounter the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, the only one who died for you, who died for me. Even while we were yet sinners, mm. Jesus died on the cross for us. Mm. And we encourage you, think about making him your own Lord and Savior. Amen. And that is so important for us. And of course, we do not forget our family here in Life Center here in London, and that is the congregation of Life Center Assembly in London from which we are reaching out to you. This is our pulpit reaching out to the entire world. And the various ministries that God has laid in our heart comes out of this pulpit. And we thank God for our pastors and Amen. our ministers and Amen. our brothers and our sisters. Amen. Those that together we all are worshiping God. Amen. And it's through, it is through the exuberant praise. It is through the prevailing prayers. It is through their faithful giving that we do what we do. Amen. You may not know this. We don't have partners here and there, but through the faithful giving of brothers and sisters in the life centers, we are able to do what we do across the nations. Amen. But we would want to invite you to be part and parcel of what the Lord is doing with us. If Amen. he beats you, make contact with me, even as we go into the message in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. 
I pray you connect. I pray you release your heart, your faith, your spirit, your complete being to him. And he will be a tremendous blessing to you. Blessings that words cannot utter. That is who Christ will be to you today in Amen. Jesus' name. Jesus. We have been looking at the message. And it is a message we believe we will round up today. This is part four of four. There are four volumes. If you've missed the previous volumes, just scroll through the Facebook mm -hmm. and you will see them or you go to the YouTube page, Bishop Bath, and you will see all these messages and other messages. There are so much more that God is going to be releasing to us. And I am excited to be part mm -hmm. and parcel of what he does in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory be to God. Mm -hmm. Once again, the message that we have been looking into, the title has been Possessing 2022 and Beyond with Unstoppable Divine Access. Possessing 2022 and beyond with unstoppable divine access that means this year that we call 2022 that we are concluding the january of it in few days time that we are people that are running with god we are with god he has already gone ahead of us. He is already gone into throughout the entire year. For Amen. God does not work with the timing of man. He is beyond our own timing. But one thing that happens is that if you are a believer and you are seated with him in the heavenly places, then you are a person that runs with God in that dimension. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, so we encourage you. The, each time I want to share this message, maybe God beats me to share this with you. The reason we get encouraged in this sort of messages that the Lord gives us is because we believe that Amen. God is with us. Amen. Hallelujah. We believe that God carries us with him. Amen. We believe that the Lord Jesus Christ has brought us into his dwelling place. Do you know, Jesus is our sanctuary. Amen. So wherever he is, we are with him. Amen. Wherever Amen. he is, we are with him. He is Amen. the temple into which we, the righteous, run and are saved. Amen. Hallelujah. That is our confidence. I remember almost close to two decades now. That was when in 1999, just before we entered into the year 2000, those decades, we had the year 2000 before us at that particular time. Before we got into it, we were praying. What people don't know is that this kind of messages have not just begun to come in just a few years time. It has been our pattern for decades. We seek God. We humbly but press into him because we know without him, we have no future. Yes. Without him, we have no tomorrow. So the someone that was and is and ever shall be whose kingdom whose rulership and dominion, whose scepter, whose authority is an everlasting scepter, is the one we will run to, Jesus the Christ. I don't know about you. I'm not here to contend on who you believe or what you believe. It's none of my business. But I'm introducing to you the one that if you make him your stronghold, if you make him the one in whom you stand with everything that you do, will be assured you you Amen. know indeed that you are standing with the one that does not fail Amen. you know indeed you are standing with the one that will not disappoint you 
Hallelujah. You know, indeed, you are standing with the one that holds your future in the palms mm -hmm. of his hand. Mm -hmm. So what happened was that just that year, before we got into it, people were uncertain of what the year was going to be. I read stories of <laughs> major artists or great people who canceled all their events to say they want to go back home. These people have no public confessions of faith in Jesus, but they canceled all their events. They say if they, don't, if they want to die, they don't know what the year holds. It's better they die in their houses. But listen for us, that year we prayed. Just in the crossover service, the Lord opened my eyes mm -hmm. and I saw the year written on a vehicle, the year 2000, moving on. And what happened was, I looked at someone who was driving the vehicle, and it was glorious. Amen. The person was marvelous. Amen. The person was powerful. Amen. His presence alone radiates life, Amen. radiates confidence. And he was the driver of the vehicle Amen. that has been written. Hallelujah. The year 2000 and beyond. <laughs> and immediately I just said, Lord, if you, if you are the driver of the year we are mm -hmm. entering into, it then means we have arrived on our destination. Mm -hmm. If Jesus is the driver of your life, remember he is the way. He does not just know the way. He is the way. Amen. Hallelujah. He is with you. You Hallelujah. have, you have the way. Hallelujah. And then we shared with the people, look at what the Lord is showing me. And they are all of us rejoiced. That year, many people had challenges, difficulties. Many people, their children were almost at the point of death. So yes. many things happened. Yes. But the thing that gave them confidence is the knowledge that the Lord Jesus Christ is the one who is leading the way. Yeah, hallelujah. And they all came through and we all came through. And in the same way I declare to you, make him your Lord and Savior, you will also come through. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You will also come through. Hallelujah. Your family will come through. Your children will come through. Your ministry will come through. In the name of the reason, God Jesus Christ. Amen. So it was since that time we began to deal with each year, we will say this year and beyond. Because already he's gone ahead of us. He is into your 10 years to come, he's into your 20 years to come, he's into your 30 years to come, he's into your 40, 50, Amen. 60, those Amen. that will live those number of years. Hallelujah. He Amen. is already into your century. Hallelujah. Are you Thank getting you. this point? So yes, you'll be Amen. secure in him. Amen. All you need to do is that when these challenges come, you know who to go to. Yes, amen. Oh, Father, we thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we cannot appreciate or thank you enough. Amen. Heavenly Father, Elohim God, we just bow our heads. In our worship today, we were saying that we lay our crown yes. and we worship amen. you. Eternal Father, that is the declarations of our heart and the declarations of our worship. Amen. Help us, excellent God. Even as we receive this message, let it be the message that you've ordained. And let it come, O oh God, without any season, without being seized or punctuated. Let there be an outflow. Amen. And above all, I pray that the heart of everyone who will hear this or watch it later and receive it, let their heart be a receptive ground, Hallelujah. a fertile Amen. ground Amen. where Amen. your word will go and the blessings Amen. shall be permanent Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Everyone say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. We know you are saying amen on the Facebook. We can't hear your voice. 
that God bless you in Jesus' name. Just name. Now, amen. amen. You know, we I just want to share a few things on the gateways. I did give us a few gateways yes. that we began to consider that will be our point of access. There are over 25 of these gateways, these gateways that I downloaded from the realm of the spirit. They are there. Some of them, you hear them, you'll be like, wow, these are common things for us. But these are spiritual pathways that God has ordained that we will walk through. They are spiritual, they are invisible, but they are as tangible as anything that you can think about. They are as real as living in the realm of God. And the word of God authenticates them. The thing is this, I'm going to run through them Sometimes these messages, they are there for us to expand at an, another time. So I will run through them so that we can conclude this message and then look forward to more things that the Lord will do with us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So pray, expand, believe God. I am humble enough to know that any message God gives his servant is not conclusive on itself it opens up many channels many doorways it opens up windows of opening so that we all can receive from god in the same way i encourage you as you receive these messages go back to the source the tree of life Amen. we are as a believer you become planted as a branch and then you will be able to produce your own fruit. He will speak to you in the language you will hear. So my mm -hmm. prayer is that as you pray through and listen, the Lord will use them to minister more to you and take you back to the source, which is his word, and you will receive more in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Now, we looked at the gate of perception. That was the gate of divine sight. We use the story of Abraham. When God spoke to Abraham and said to him, lift up your eyes. And he told him to look east, west, north, south. Everywhere that his eyes would perceive. So we use that to decipher that there are perceptive gates, the gates that will cause us to have a foresight, have an insight, and have a hindsight. Yes. And we did state, when you have all these perceptions and all these gateways, and be able to appropriate them, then you know you will receive everything that God wants to give you. Amen. Your past will no longer count against you. Because you know what, why what happened, happened. That is hindsight. You know why it happened. And you have, in this presence of God, today, you have ratified it all with what God is doing by the insight of scriptures. And then you can gain everything he has positioned before you and run with him into the future. In Jesus' name. Amen. And then we looked at the world gate. These are in the previous messages. The word gate. We looked at the story of Mary. Yes. How Mary, how Mary was able to possess the great things that God had ordained for her was because she believed the word of God. Mm -hmm. In Luke chapter 1, we concluded it with verse 38, where Mary said, Be it unto me according to your word. So the gateway of the word of God is the area you will use to conquer this year. No matter what, you go back to the word. May that be a portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. And that is why we always say, whose report will you believe? Yes. It does not matter what is happening around the nations. Will you believe the report of all the news that they are saying that they, sometimes you listen to them, you know that they themselves are uncertain of what tomorrow holds. 
But when you go to the word of God, I like the statement that somebody said, the word of God is more current than today's newspaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or even tomorrow's news cannot compare with the word of God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. I will look at the gate of the Holy Spirit. Because he knows, he is the, know, the one that knows everything. Amen. When you stand with him, he will release this knowledge to you in Jesus' name. Amen. And in looking at the gate of the Holy Spirit, we talked about the gate of the spirit of man. It must be aligned with the gate of the Holy Spirit because mm -hmm. without your spirit man being aligned with the Holy Spirit, you will be open to every sort of spirit. Not, that is not God's will for yourself and for your family in Jesus' name. Amen. And last week we concluded it with the gate of obedience. The gate of obedience. This is the gate of submitting our wills. The gate of obedience is the gate of submitting our wills to God. Not your will, not your husband's will, not your employer's will, but the will of God. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, so we continue with these gates today, and I'll just mention some of them. I want you to go and pray over them and trust the Lord for more. And remember, these gateways have been made accessible through the blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus is what gives us access into the presence of God. So today we look at the gate of prevailing faith. The gate of prevailing faith. This is the gate where you know that your faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ as you go through the year, as you encounter things. You do not have a fear-filled life. A lot of people run into so many things because of the uncertainty of tomorrow. And that is what makes them want to go to where they think that they can give them assurance. And can I say to you, this is where many people run into cultic and occultic practices. Because there they are promised that they can see, they, they can be given the supernatural to peep. That's the word. They try to peep. Through the Bible says there is a hole in the wall. It is a witchcraft hole. Mm -hmm. That is what it is. So they try to see if they can peep and see what tomorrow holds. But they cannot because the devil does not know your tomorrow. He does not know anybody's tomorrow. He can fathom it through what they hear, see, and conjure. But hey, it is in Christ Jesus that you are secure in your future. Amen. Amen. So I repeat again, it is a prevailing faith. Why do I use the word prevailing faith? It's because a lot of people say they have faith, but show me your faith and tell me what your faith has enabled you to prevail over. And then we will know the genuineness of your faith. A lot of people say they have faith, and they are still depending on people of what mm -hmm. use is faith. If people, human beings, are the ones you are depending on, you are trusting on the horses and the chariots of men, as the Bible puts it, mm -hmm. but you are not trusting on God. Some people, when they are praying, their mind is already telling them who will be the answer to that prayer. Mm -hmm. Suppose that person is not available. You should have that implicit faith in God through Jesus Christ Amen. and his word. You don't pray with fear. Amen. When you are facing things and you are going through things, you have this faith that God will give you victory in Jesus' name. We may touch on those later. The other gateway is the salvation gateway. The salvation gateway gateway. The scripture makes it clear in Acts chapter 3 when we read 
about the salvation that comes through Jesus. As many as shall call upon his name, they shall be saved. This is also repeated for us in Romans. And if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, you believe that he died for us. You believe that he rose from the dead. You believe that he has purchased your salvation. Then you know that truly you can confess it with your mouth mm -hmm. and it will be in line with the word of God that you have believed. Then the Bible says, you shall be saved. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So we do encourage you, check out your salvation. It's not the salvation where you are believing Okay, for the sake of somebody, let us go to Romans chapter 10 and just read that scripture. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. Oh, Lord, we magnify Hallelujah. you. I'm talking about the gate of salvation. Amen. Because many things do happen and the resources available to man is limited. But when you have Jesus, then you know that you are able to prevail. Now look at Romans chapter 10. We read verse 8. But what saith it? The word is near thee, even in your mouth and in your heart. And that is the word of faith that we speak, which we preach. If you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you shall believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then... You shall be saved. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Then you shall be saved in this year and beyond this year. Amen. You stand and you speak it, you confess it. Your authority and your confidence is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That is on the gate of salvation. Don't just proclaim salvation that is not salvation. The fact that you are in a church or you're in a group or you are in a place where they preach salvation does not mean that you could be saved. It has to be a personal encounter with Jesus. You don't know that there are sicknesses you are going through today that the day you truly encounter Jesus, you will receive that faith to stand and refuse that sickness. I remember myself personally, before I got born again at the age of 23, I used to suffer from tonsillitis, either at the beginning of the year, I mean beginning of the month, or at the end of the month. Then in the rural areas, it took us to people that would bust it, the, to the extent that I was busting it my own self. I'll put my finger and bust it. But what I'm saying is I suffered that thing. But that was one of the things the day I gave my life to Jesus Christ. Amen. It went with my old ways. Amen. I became saturated with faith. Amen. That Amen. when the symptoms want to come out, I'm like, no, no, no. Yes. I am a brand new creation. All things have passed away. I am believing God for his gift of divine Amen. health. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And that has been my portion. Tonsillitis is history, has been history in my life. So what am I saying? When you pass through the gateway of salvation, saints of God, salvation is not just for you to be saved and go to heaven. No, it's all encompassing. It includes your health. Yes. It includes your deliverance from this world, from demonic bondages and powers. Amen. It includes your prosperity. Amen. It includes all that Jesus brings to us, which Amen. we need in this earthly realm. Amen. Everything that pertains to life and godliness that we need, he has given to us. Amen. And that is why when we read the word of God, saints, I encourage you to be someone that will appreciate what the Lord is saying. Let's just see it quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter 1. I mean, Thank Second you, Peter Jesus. chapter 1. Are you there? Turn your Bible quickly. Second Peter, turn your Bible quickly, please. 
Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter 1. Now look at verse 2. I'll, be, I'll read it from verse 1. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them who have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I preach Jesus Christ. Now look at this. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. So when you get born again, whatever it takes to live life in this earth realm, God has given to you. He has in the mind of Jesus Christ. So it's not just you go to heaven. You have what it takes to navigate through the storms of life. Amen. According to as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and to virtue. Read all through to verse 8 and read through to verse 11. You will get the complete message. The gate of salvation. Amen. That is how you'll be able to call upon God in this year and the Lord Jesus will answer you. Amen. So when Amen. you are born again, you receive that salvation, you know how to stand in this 2022 and beyond when anything comes against you. Let that be your portion in Jesus' Amen. name. Now, the other important gate that I want us to understand this is so important and so real. And so many people miss this. It is the gate of soul winning. Amen. The gate of soul winning. There is a scripture each time I remember it in Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30. Look at where the word of wisdom that was tucked in. And when you discover that wisdom, you know that the gate of winning souls, making conversions, ministering um, by your lifestyle, letting people encounter the benefit of knowing Jesus, and they themselves will confess their faith in Christ. These people could be in church, they have not known Jesus. This people could even be born in a Christian home with Christian names that does not tell that they are believers. But when you now begin to trust the Lord to use you to make conversion of souls, then you know that this people now will believe Jesus, confess him, and you will know the life they live. Amen. You will see the evidence of the new birth. In our, Deception, in our Deception Academy, we just concluded a teaching titled Evidence of the New Birth, Evidence of Salvation. And the teaching was as standard as God used one of our pastors to deliver it. So what we are saying is this, brethren, that is something about leading people to salvation. What does mm -hmm. Proverbs 11.30 say? It states here, the fruit of the righteous is a tree. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and the one who is wise saves lives. Amen. Amen. The one who is wise saves lives. Amen. That is the mark of your being wise. Your ability to bring people to eat. It says the fruit of the righteous. Amen. That which comes out of you is not meant to keep people in bondage. It's not meant to corrupt people. It's not meant to make people live sinful lives, but to give them life in Amen. Jesus. That Amen. is the mark. So make this year 2022, I say, yeah, you will possess through the gate of soul winning. Man. I did Man. say to someone that there is a special reception for soul winners in heaven. Amen. There is a special reception. 
Amen. For soul winners. In heaven, may you be Hallelujah. one of those that Hallelujah. will receive that reception. As the angels in heaven will be rejoicing. Jesus, Tell me, yeah. who is an ambassador? An ambassador is the one who represents others, yeah. other nations in a, another nation. And you carry yeah. the right, the power, the ability of that nation. You go into those other nations. Your Amen. nation cares yeah. for the ambassadors. Yeah. If you are an ambassador of Jesus, called Amen. into the ministry of reconciliation, Amen. reconciling people back to Jesus, then heaven has you in mind. God Amen. will have intensive plans for you this year, yes. 2022 Amen. and beyond. Amen. I am Amen. making that a goal. Jesus, we Amen. thank you. May you Thank be you, that Jesus. person in Jesus' Amen. name. In Jesus' name, I receive it. Thank you, my sister. As you confess it, so shall it be for Amen. you in Jesus' name. Amen. The next gate that goes with the gate of soul winning is the gate of disciple makers. Yes. That is the statement that Jesus left with the disciples and left with us. You know, when he said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Amen. By extension, he gives us that same authority. Hallelujah. What he was saying is he wants us to go forth and Amen. make disciples who will make other disciples. Amen. Sometimes our families suffer Amen. because we have not made disciples of our family members. Yes. That is a goal, brethren, that we must get into. Yes. Some families are suffering because the members, those who are believers, that ought to reach out to family members and they list them to become disciples of Jesus. They have not done that. Yes. And the enemy can run riot in such families. Mm -hmm. The enemy can take advantage of past generations who did not serve God mm -hmm. to run riot in such family. But listen, when you make your family members will be disciples of Jesus. They will know that their lives are hid in Christ and in mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. May this be our portion. I want you, if you have time, go please read Romans 28 from yes. verse 18 to verse 20. You'll be able to see the command to make disciples mm -hmm. of all nations. Amen. So you cannot take the nations except through disciple making. Yes. You can't take the nation by trying to go and conquer or put diplomatic gimmicks. <laughs> Don't let me go there. But what I'm trying to say is this. As a believer, you will yes. be able, you'll be someone that will conquer the nations and Amen. prevail by you raising disciples in those nations. If you believe Amen. me, say name. Amen. I believe it and receive it in Jesus' Thank name. Thank you, Jesus. And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of Amen. the world. Hallelujah. Isn't that amazing? Hallelujah, Jesus. If he says he's with you to oh, the end of the world, Jesus. is it 2022 that is not with you? Yes. Is with you, you in 2022 yes, and end. beyond. Hallelujah. He's yes, right Lord. there with us. Thank Father, you, thank you in Jesus' thank name. You. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your confidence. Now we go to the other gate. I will just list them all and then we pray. Amen. 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 This is the gate of prayer. Amen. There is no greater gateway for us as believers that is so special than the gate of prayer and is the gate that has been made accessible for everyone through the blood of the Lamb of God by the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I was sharing with a group of global prayer brethren that we wear on Saturday morning, people calling from um, US, Asia, Africa, and here. Brethren, the gate of prayer 
why it is an unstoppable gate is because of the one who is your prayer leader. Yes. The one who is your prayer partner. Yes. The one who is your chief intercessor. Amen, Jesus Christ. He Amen. is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. We are not talking about praying just religious pseudo faith prayers. We are talking about prayer that is spirit led. Yes, amen. Encapsulated with the praying in the spirit. Amen. A dimension. I was so blessed by a young lady yesterday. She attends one of our sister churches. This is a young girl. I think maybe she's just in her maybe 18 or 19. I saw her. She was preaching. And she made a statement that blessed my heart. She said, if you are praying and you are not able to pray in the spirit with the evidence of praying in the tongue, you are not praying at the level of God. Yes. So when you pray with your human understanding, you are praying in the human level, the level of mankind. God will stay here, but if you want to see, hear, do what God does and be so filled with his virtue, pray at the level of God. Amen. I can sense who is praying at the level of God when they are yes. praying with me. Amen. Sometimes I, I just, there are people you may want to walk away from so that you can pray. There are times you may go somewhere and just be on your own and pray. Take a retreat. Yes. Explode when you, you cannot possess this year without you being a man or a woman of prayer or even a family of prayer. Amen. Mark this. Amen. The enemy challenges families that they cannot pray. We can talk, we can enjoy, we can watch movies, we can do things, but when it comes to prayer, it's like an uphill struggle. Mm -hmm. The enemy wants to deny you something. Mm -hmm. May the Lord never allow it in Jesus' name. Jesus name. So the gate of prayer, and listen, prayer, when the Lord Jesus was teaching the disciples how to pray, in mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 6, Mm -hmm. He laid it down and you can split them and pull out about 21 prayer items from the teaching on the Lord's Prayer. It's called the Lord's Prayer. Jesus did not pray that. He taught his disciples a prayer pattern. Yes. And that is so clear. From point number one to seven, you get about the worship of who God is. Amen. Hallowed be thy name, yes. our Father who art in heaven. And you begin to see from point eight, you yes. pray down even to point 18. And you, you can split it to the last part that talks about thy kingdom come. God talks about our needs, obviously, when he taught them to pray, give us this day our daily bread. Daily bread. But praying is not about our daily bread. You'll be a kingdom taker. We are believing God for nations. But the question is, when was the last time you pulled out the map of the nations with the various countries and you did a study about them? There are people who have specialized in researches and bringing this information aligned with those ministries. Amen. And they'll give you tools for prayer. Yes. Amen. Brethren, may the Holy Spirit help us this year. For you to possess 2022 and beyond, Amen. you need to be going through the gate of prayer. Amen. And when we talk about prayer, it's prayer in the spirit. Amen. And again, I talk about the gate of angelic and supernatural encounter. Amen. Of course, we all know the story of Peter. Yes. If you cannot go through the gate where you are aware that God has released angels and these angels are messengers, not angels to be worshipped as deities. Any deity that comes and says they are angel this or angel that and they take worship, bind that demon. Bind it and rebuke it. Amen. It's not an angel of God. Angel of God, they will never take worship. Amen. Anytime you see in the Old Testament, the Bible says, the angel 
like when Gideon encountered the angel and worshipped. That was Jesus Christ. Amen. In the Old Testament, manifesting before the fullness of time when he will come. That is when he was called the angel, not just an angel. Yes. But that does not mean that the angelic ministry is not available today. They will come to you in the place of work. They will come to you on your medical appointment. Mm -hmm. They will come to you in the places of yes. job interview. They will yes. come to you in your homes. They will yes. come to you in your car. They will meet you on the way. Just be ready to receive angelic ministration. It amen. comes with supernatural encounter. Yes, amen. I receive it comes with supernatural encounter, Hallelujah. sense of God. Amen. amen, yes. So don't despise angelic ministry. The fact that some people have made a wrong doctrine of it does not mean it is not biblical. I am expectant of God using angelic beings. Uh, the way I look at it is that he walks in me by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And areas where I cannot go, he sends his angels on my behalf. Amen. Amen. May God's angels be sent ahead of you Amen. in the places where you are not. In Amen. the schools of our children, Amen. he keeps them secure. Amen. He keeps them secure. Angels come between you and certain accident figures. Yes. God sends them. That's right. May you enjoy it this year in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. May that be your portion and that of your yes, family in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. We see that in Acts of the Apostles chapter 12 from verse 5 to 17. How Peter was freed from yes. prison. Go and read it. Thank you, Jesus. Another one that goes with this gate. Have I talked about the gate of revelation? Amen. <laughs> okay, amen. amen. The gate of revelation is yes. so powerful. Hallelujah. I don't have time to expand on it, but I'll just give you this gate. Like I said, I want to tie it here. Be with us as we bring out the messages. Some of them are going to be coming back in diverse way. Amen. amen. The gate, the dream gate. Joseph was a dreamer. He was able to possess his destiny through the dream gate that yes. God called him, tying it with revelation. We are not talking about dreams of any sort. There are so many dreams. These things, are by the weeks, I mean by the months and the weeks, I'm going to be bringing our teachings by the special grace of God. The Amen. gate of mercy and grace. Amen. God does not meet you based on what we deserve. It doesn't meet us based on what we deserve. That is mercy. Mm -hmm. Then yes. he meets us with what we don't deserve. That is grace. Mm -hmm. We deserve judgment, punishment, failure, yes. certain things yes. because we've rebelled against him. But mercy prevails. Mm -hmm. We Amen. don't deserve redemption. We don't deserve salvation. Mm -hmm. But grace makes them available. Amen. May this year, may you prevail through the gate of mercy and grace Amen. that is the power Amen. gate the power gate if you don't know whom you believe and whom you serve demon spirits will make a mock of you yes but if you dwell in the power of jesus yes. they will see you like i do Amen. say your enemy will retard and you will be progressing Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, in Lord. the name of jesus Amen. it comes with the divine power and authority of yes. the risen God, Jesus. The same power, Romans declares it, 8, 11, if the same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, that same power shall quicken your Amen. mortal body. Amen. The gate of power. Amen. The gate of divine opportunities. The gate of wealth manifestation. Amen. You need to believe God for these things. Amen. The Amen. gate of wealth manifestations. Amen. God that gives you power to make wealth. The gate Father, of joyful yeah. spirit. Amen. The gate of joyful spirit, not sorrowful Amen. spirit. No matter what happens, the joy of the Lord shall be our Amen. strength. Amen. The gate of rulership and dominion. Amen. The gate of rulership and dominion. Amen. Yes, Lord. The gate of persistence. Amen. The wisdom gate. The freedom gate. Amen. And finally, the gate of unstoppable praise and worship. Amen. The gate of unstoppable praise 
Praise and worship. This yes, is Lord. exuberant praise. Nobody can stop you. In Jesus' name. Oh, I was told the story mm -hmm. as I conclude of a young man who, when he comes to church, he will love to praise and dance. And the thing is that he's dance, he dances in front of the church yeah. the way it as if he's the only one that they have the praise and worship team is singing and ministering for. The music we play, he will dance. And then Hallelujah. there are these dignified men and women you, who don't want to be free in the presence of God and clap and dance and worship yeah. God. Hallelujah. You need to see us in congregational worship. We prostrate. We, we weep, we cry, we dance. Amen. We Hallelujah. pour out our being to God. Amen. If, if you can't tolerate such atmosphere, then you can't come to be with us. Hallelujah. <laughs> so this young man will dance and rejoice and this thing was painting this dignified man. And the man said, I think this man is poor. This man is poor. Let me help him. Mm. And then he went to the young man and said, listen, I'm going to help you every month. Listen, I, it looks, I know you are poor. I know you need help. Every month, mm. I'll be giving you so-so amount. Mm. Just promise me that if you want to do this, your dance, go back and do it. Don't come to the front of the church. Yes. And the man, to his words, was helping this young man, giving him money every month. Mm. And this young man, he, he comes early in church. And he takes his seat in the front. How can a man who come early in church go to sit at the back? And when the music and the worship was going on, he would want to get up and dance and worship and praise God and bless God, irrespective of who or what is before him. But he will remember the man that was stopping him. Remember, we are talking about the unstoppable access. He will remember the man. Yes. That man was stopping him. And then he will hold himself. He remembers the money the man is giving him. He will hold himself. Mm. One day the Spirit of God broke forth. And he Hallelujah. knew he had unstoppable praise and worship tenderness in him. Hallelujah. And he shouted, whether you give me money or you don't yes. give me money, I will with your money, I will worship God anyhow, mm -hmm. anyway. Hallelujah. And he broke forth and began yes, to Lord. dance and worship. Hallelujah. That was Amen. the source Hallelujah. of the miracle of that young man. Yes. May Amen. nobody stop you this year. Amen. Irrespective Amen. of who they are in your life, Amen. if they think they hold your future, Amen. let them depart. And the one who holds your future will show that he has made you unstoppable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friend, we declare again 2022 our year of unstoppable. Amen. Amen. Not because Amen. of anything, but because we are with the one who he himself Amen. is unstoppable. Amen. The Lord Jesus. Amen. Shall we bow our head today? In Jesus' name. Amen. These messages are there to provoke us. Amen. I pray you listen over it. I pray you pray with it. I pray you learn from it. I pray you act out the words. And I pray you bless someone with it. Father, we thank you. Amen. You have helped us today. Yes, You've helped us over these four Sundays. You've just opened up your word. Thank Our you, prayer Jesus. is that this word will continue to prevail with us as we enter into this year. Amen. As we go through this year and look unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Father. Thank you, Jesus. I dedicate and bless everyone who has heard us today Amen. and before. Let it be that they have heard you. Yes, Let it be that they have believed you. Amen. Let it be that they have received from you, Lord. Yes, Show Lord. them that one with you will prevail and conquer. Amen. They will be unstoppable. Grave did not stop you. So are we unstoppable. Amen. The storms and the winds did not Amen. stop you. So are we unstoppable. Amen. Eternal Amen. Father, the leaders of your time, the time of Jesus, could not stop him. Amen. So are we unstoppable. Hallelujah. Thank, you. Thank you. 
the power of death that is locking around somewhere, let the power of death be broken because of the power of life in Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Lord, we glorify you. We honor you. Holy Spirit, thank you. Blessed be your name. Take the devices of this message and communicate it to every hearer. We bless you, every child, every boy, every girl, every man, every woman, whoever they are. Thank you, Father. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. And the saints shall say, Amen. Thank you, Amen. Amen.